Kiko foot includes buttonhole and centered itself and our Hey everyone, this is Sarah with SewingPartsOnline.com and we had a fan request that we do a video on how to make the zippered fitted pillowcases that we actually did a blog about. Um, so we figured, hey, we'll just make the video if it's great for all those visual learners out there. So the great thing about this is it gives you an, kind of a stress-free opportunity to learn how to install a zipper if you're not quite sure or if you just want to sew something and you don't want to spend forever doing it. This takes about 20 minutes. It's super easy and that includes all the cutting time. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. First, you're going to need a standard size pillow or whatever size pillow, but I use the standard size one, just um, you know, regular ones for your bed. Um, you're also going to need a zipper and you're going to need tape measure and two pieces of fabric. So for this, since I wanted to use contrasting fabric, I just got about just under two thirds a yard of some Valentine print since it's right around the corner and um, some suede, I had this left over. So anywho, first you want to measure your pillowcase. Now for my standard size pillowcase, it was 21 inches by 28 inches and that includes the half inch seam allowance that I'm doing. So I just do a half inch because it's like the easiest way to add. <laughs> so for all you people who don't like adding, <laughs> Half an inch is a great place to start. And if you even get even more confused by measuring, if you start at the one, then you don't have to add anything. You'll always know that it's gonna be half an inch. So I always measure starting at the one and then across just like this to the seam to seam and then across this way, seam to seam. So use those to cut. Now I already have mine cut out to save time. So I have my suede and I have this one. Now, before you start doing anything for any sewing starts, well, before any construction starts, finish your edges. You'll just get this out of the way. So if you have a serger, a three thread overlock is perfect. If you don't, overcast stitch works fine. Um, pinking shears are good. If you, know, if you don't plan on washing it that much, um, you know, simple finishing the edges. So we have these cut out. Let's get rid of our pillow. We don't need that right now. So let's go ahead and tackle the beast and install the zipper first. What you wanna do is take the teeth of your zipper, which is the, you know, the plastic part, the part that zips, and face it to the right side of your fabric. So teeth to right side of fabric, just like this, right? So that the edge of your zipper lines up with the finished edge of your fabric. Now, if you ever get backwards with this, Think of how it would look if it was installed because it's, you know, they get you backwards, these zippers. So I'll just kind of, sometimes if I'm not quite sure, you know, no coffee, I'll kind of be like, how is this just supposed to look? Okay, that's how it's supposed to look. And then kind of reverse engineer it and that'll help me with my placement. So the important thing to know about putting in this zipper is making sure that the tab of your zipper doesn't go into your seam allowance. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a close up. So here we have our zipper with the teeth and the right side of our fabric. So we put the teeth on the right side of the fabric, line up the edges, make sure that the tab of our zipper is not within our half an inch seam allowance. Up, oh, good, not within the half an inch. We're ready to start pinning. Now, technically you're supposed to hand base the zipper in, but this is just a pillowcase. Um, it's not like a tailored dress or anything like that. So, you know, it's okay to just pin it and kind of watch it as you sew. Um, if you're just learning, hand basing is a great idea because it gives you that extra security or using some kind of adhesive, like maybe a glue stick. So just go ahead and pin it all the way down and then we'll go to the other side. So now I have my fabric. I have my pink fabric laying right sides together on top of my contrast fabric, right, the suede. See, I have my zipper pinned. So this gets me backwards all the time. So what I just do is I lay it right sides together Right, I leave a little bit of space and then I just pop, flip it up, pull it over and pin, right? So it's like this, just like you would do any kind of seam, but I'm gonna pop out the zipper and pull it up, right? And then I'm gonna pin it the same way that I did the other side, right? Just like, and I'll make sure, is my tab in my half inch? Nope, sure isn't. You can kind of see, it's kind of cool because you can line up the raw edges of the pink fabric with the, with the raw edges of the other fabric 
so you can t so you'll know that the zipper is going to be equal on both sides when you have these laying on top of each other so here we go we'll just pin same as we did on the other side pin all the way down so this is what it should look like right now that you have it pinned on both sides now because you've pinned both sides this is the opportunity to test it and make sure it's you know working right so let's see ah oops oh pin pull down working right great now we can actually sew the zipper in so now you're ready to sew the zipper in you have your zipper foot right here you want it to glide along the teeth so basically do not sew over the teeth if you don't want your zipper to be seen use like an invisible zipper but try to keep it i mean like you can feel right here that there's a um, where the bump is, so just kind of stay away, move your needle over, test it to make sure it's not gonna hit any metal. See if that was too far. You know, you can move it a little bit closer, but just try to make sure that you're not running over those teeth, okay? And well, let's start, start back here, right? Okay. And back stitch. And so. See how we're just gliding right along the zipper? But not actually on the teeth. And just remove the pins as you go. So now as we're getting to the edge, you'll kind of have to lift it up, pull your zipper forward a little bit, and flatten it out with your finger and sew to the end with the zipper closed. Right, and then we'll back stitch, okay? And then we're gonna flip it and do the same thing on the other side. And now we're gonna sew down the other side. Okay, so just feel with your finger and make sure that you're not um, hitting the teeth, okay? So here we go. Back stitch, try to move these pins out of the way as you go. Don't really want to sew over them. And just sew down just like you did before. I just need to get to about here, right? And then I can back stitch. And I think it's easier to just take it off and unzip it. And now it looks exactly like when we were going down the other end, right? So let's just sew all the way down. And now as we're getting to the end, I'm just gonna sew to the very end. And back stitch. And let's take it out. And we can zip it up. Now, all that's left to do is sew up the remi remaining three sides using a half an inch seam. So now, you might be wondering how, well, how are you gonna do that with a zipper in? Well, I just take my zipper and I kinda fold it as best I can. Fold it kind of in half and I pin it. And I sew right over it using my half an inch seam. So, let me fix my needle position a little bit. There we go. I have a Teflon foot in because I have suede material. Um, and you know, it doesn't hurt you to use a Teflon foot, no worries. So I'm gonna back stitch. And I'm going to sew these three sides. And as I get to the corners, I'm just gonna pivot about half an inch away and start over again. Now as I'm getting to the edge, you can see my um, zipper tab is coming up. As I get to the end, I mean. So go ahead and like pull your zipper down a little bit. Right, just a little bit and so so you so that you're right above these little um, metal ends right so you'll probably end your seam right about here here we go and you'll sew all the way together right oh don't know if my hand was in the way back stitch nip your threads pull it out right so you can pull the zipper down so 
so that you can actually turn it inside out. Great. See? Now all that's left is to turn your pillowcase right sides out. Now if you want to, you can always do like a top, um, like a top layer of, I mean a top stitch onto your um, zipper if you want. It gives like a little bit of a more tailored look. That's always an option. It's cool to use like a, like a top stitching needle and maybe some contrast thread, something kind of fun that pops. Go ahead and put your pillowcase, pillow in just like any other pillowcase. Here we go. Zip this bad boy up. And you have yourself a zippered fitted pillowcase for every season. Be kind of fun to change them out. They're so easy to make, why not? So if you want more tips, tricks, fun projects, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com. We also sell all of the um, tools and accessories that we use to make this. Or if you just wanna come and hang out with our little sewing community, visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline, on Twitter at sewingparts, on Instagram or on Google Plus, and be sure to click the button below to subscribe.